What's up, video bloggers? I am dedicating that snap and all those V's to my boy Ahmad. Sadiq Tahir Ahmad, how are you? I hope everyone out there is feeling chill. Mosta, what nice. Uh, I'm feeling good today, thanks. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment. Uh, but first, I mean, sheesh, I wish I was over there out on the water. It's crystal blue persuasion. Ooh. Um, but uh, I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. But right now, um, before I go there, uh, I'm going to this place called Down to Earth. And uh, it's like a Whole Foods kind of place. And they really dedicate... A lot of their clientele to uh, vegan, vegan foods. So yeah. So not too long ago, someone had commented on one of my videos asking how I feel about what's happening up at Mauna Kea. Um, I live in Hawaii for those of you that don't know. Um, yeah, so uh, up at Mauna Kea, there's a huge protest going on at this very moment. And what, the protest is about is the fact that I don't know who they are but I guess the government especially I think the government of Hawaii wants to put up a newer larger like a, like a bigger faster stronger you know what I mean that's uh, the American way uh, but they they want to put up a new much larger telescope up on the summit of Mauna Kea. That's on the big island of Hawaii. And um, so there's a lot of protests going on right now with uh, the Hawaiian people making their claim that this is not some place, you know, you just don't do stuff like that here in Hawaii, you know what I mean? Um, and they have a lot of their spiritual leaders up there and uh, so, I mean, it's just become this huge emotional thing. I've watched it on the news and I've gotten terribly emotional myself. I can't watch stuff like that because I just want to go in and kill every expletive that is preventing these people from keeping their land, okay? I want to fight for the people, okay? And from what I was told is that this huge, powerful telescope is not going to be open for the public. But it's just for these private sector folks, right? So someone, the same person had asked, you should make a vlog out of it. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I won't. And that's the same reason why I never went to... Standing Rock, okay? My vlog has enough guts to stand on its own, okay? I don't want to exploit the plight and the suffering and the pain that's happening just so I can, you know, ooh, kick out a viral video. Get the hell out of here. Really? No, that, no. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I like, like a friend of mine, Jade. What's up, Jade? Oh my God! You used to live here in Hawaii, and now you're back up in Massachusetts now. Um, but she asked me how I feel about Standing Rock, and I told her, I said, "Well, let me think about it. Let me let me read some articles, watch some news clips on it, and you know your boy. Yeah, your boy is gonna be like, uh-uh, not happening." But I'm not for this peaceful protest bullshit, okay? I don't believe in peaceful protest. We're not gonna get anywhere because no one's gonna take us serious if we're gonna be all Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, oh lord, Kumbaya. Nobody's gonna, no one's gonna take you uh, serious for something like that, okay? What is this numbnut doing, really? To me, like, well, what I told Jade is, I said, I would like to roll in there with a couple of trucks with a Gatling gun on the back of them and just start shooting the freaking place up. 
I don't want to kill anyone, but I want to destroy all of their freaking materials to do that. And, you know, I mean, this is what they have been doing. They, the powers that be, the government, the white people, the white man rather, I'm sorry. Okay? They've been doing this thing for, uh, since they freaking landed on our shores, okay? They come here, they see something, they're like, ooh, I'm going to do this. No one's going to stop me. I'm a white man. I got white power. I got my green power right here. You know what I mean? Which politician do I have to grease with my greenbacks in order to get this thing passed? Okay? Similar thing which happened in Apacheria in Ireland. Um, in uh, Apache Land over at uh, Oak Flats when you know that guy uh, well he's passed away now uh, Senator uh, John McCain he ran for presidency but this guy was a sneaky fucker now you know what I'm sorry about swearing okay but this is your hey you wanted to know man I'm very freaking passionate about this stuff okay very passionate I don't think peaceful protest is the way to go okay what this guy did was John McCain did was he snuck it into the defense bill so that way they could go in there digging and stuff like that they're, they're digging for precious ores and stuff it's like get out of here you know what this is like this is this is the thing this is the thing that's been going on for such a long time see the white man say hey man get off this land we'll put you here on this tiny little scruff of land right and then what happens is they find out that where they put us is the most dense area of freaking uranium or gold or what have you. Okay? That's what happens. They put us on these reservations and then they're like, oh, 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 oh we messed up. Hey, get off. Get off of here. So what they do is they keep bringing the size of the reservation, the homelands, in further and further. And you know what, as indigenous peoples everywhere, everyone, this has happened to us. When I was watching the news about what's happening up at Mauna Kea, and like, it was like a good couple weeks, everything was peaceful, everything was chill, no one was getting upset, no one was like cursing or anything like that. Everyone kept a cool head. What happened was, when they tried to move the people, that's when stuff started getting wicked emotional. And I tell you something, you know what? What is in your heart? Is what's gonna save you at the end of the day. When you can sleep with your consciousness, when you're not plagued by it, okay? There's all these local boys, all these local Hawaiian cops that are up there. And yeah, they gotta do their job. I understand that, okay? But, where's your pride? Where's your freaking, over here? Where's your, what is the pride, you know what I mean? That you have about saying, about expressing, not claiming, but expressing your indigenousness. Where is it? If you're just working for the white man and doing his freaking job. I can say for me, if that was me, I don't care if I had freaking kids, okay? If I have kids, say if I had two, three kids and a wife, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would, I would either tell, I would either, this is, this is me, this is just me. I would say, I can't do it because it conflicts with my spiritual identity and if they make you do it anyways I'll take my belt off and I'll stand in line with the people and fight the fight you know how torn these guys must be I'm telling you I know how torn that they must be about it I mean they're probably choking back tears it's like man these are my people and I know I shouldn't be doing this 
as much as they are your people, sometimes some people, no matter how thick your bloodline is, they're already polluted in the head from the government. They're already told who they are and why they are the way that they are. Fuck freaking Manchurian candidate stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna go up over there to Mauna Kea and go exploit that just for a video, okay? Now, me and my brother actually just got done talking about this. Uh, Sunday morning he called me and uh, he was telling me, hey, remember at um, Standing Rock? And I was like, dude, don't even get me started. Cause I had 10 friends when this thing was like reaching its peak, you know, when all of the the anger and the sadness and you know the broken hearts was happening over at um, uh, Standing Rock. Ten of my friends went over. My ex-wife Sherry, she asked me. She said, "Would you go over?" I said, "No, I'm not gonna go over. What the hell is it gonna do for another Indian to be up there? I'm just gonna be in the way." But then my friends that went up there, oh man, they were just like polluting their Facebook pages with all these selfies of the new people that they met and that, that's all they were doing really. They were, they were you know what, because it's going to be like 30 years from now, there's going to be a documentary about Standing Rock and they're going to be one of those freaking jackasses that are like sitting on a stool in a dark room you know, with like a soft spotlight on them, just saying, yeah, you know, I was there and, you know, um, it was a very sad, you know, get, get out of my face. I will bullet punch you through your freaking head, seriously. You, you're there for yourself. You're there for your freaking self is what it is. Everyone was there, just there so that they can be seen like, oh, yeah, hey, man, I'm here and I'm supporting um, the you know the peoples and stuff so that way you know we can get uh, and keep fresh water that's like if you know I support the troops okay people just you know throw a freaking magnet on the car we support the troops nah go up and say something to a veteran man I see veterans all the time wearing the campaign hats and stuff like that and I go up dude I was at Walmart last week Friday and there was a gentleman on the other side of the store, and I walked, I saw him. I saw his hat. His uh, his um, a Vietnam um, campaign hat, you know, with the campaign colors. And I walked over, and I, you know, just a, just a quick 10, 15 seconds to express to express to this man my gratitude for his efforts for his work, for his, all the strife he had to go through, okay, don't be, don't be a talker, be a doer, I don't think I'm going to do any good if I go up there, I'm just going to be getting in the way, sticking my camera in everyone's face, and that's not going to be cool, how the hell would you feel if I went to your grandmother's funeral and just popped open my phone? turn on the camera and start, you know, going around asking all of the beloved family members and saying, hey, so like, what did Nana really mean to you, you know what I mean, you know, you know, like, could you express some things about, you know, like your favorite times or some things that she's taught you that you carry on to this day, get out of here, we gotta show this freaking government that we mean business and peaceful protest is not gonna freaking do it. So how do we do it? Show them that you're freaking serious. Okay? They had that. I remember I remember watching this on the news. I don't even watch the news, but because of this, I watched the news. Okay? I was sitting in the living room with my mom and I was watching it with her. And um, they had the uh, what's it um, uh, the lieutenant governor. Oh shoot, right I was walking all this way. Damn, I wish I could give him a drive, but he's going the other way. Um, speaking of which, I gotta get gasoline. Um, the uh, lieutenant governor was on TV. He was over there at Mauna Kea 
and just walking through and just you know you know nodding you know like a freaking bobblehead you know like some empty-headed soldier just just sent there just to say to the people like hey yeah uh, you know like you, you have my support and stuff like that and, uh you know we feel for you we feel for you i'm gonna feel that The problem is that no one is willing to die for not the country but for the for the land okay for the future of the land okay for the righteousness of it is the state motto of Hawaii is Ua Mauke e uka aina I kapono, which means the life of the land is preserved in righteousness okay Preserved in righteousness, okay? Not for righteousness, okay? So, which it, what it essentially means is leave the land the hell alone. Leave it to the peoples and to the spiritual leaders, okay? And for these people who are working so hard to Reestablish their place in this aina, this land, okay? So I guess you could say this would be my protest vid, but I don't protest because I have a very short temper. And when it gets to stuff about the same old cavalry coming in, but I just want to shoot an arrow right through the freaking horn. Right into that soldier's mouth and kill him. Right, go right into his brain. That's how I feel, man. Because I got ages of my ancestors screaming through my blood. Apaches do peaceful protest? Hell no. They are convoluted in their heads. <laughs> Believing that they actually belong here, that this government applies to indigenous land. It does not. You govern your people and we will govern the land by our people. Straight up, simple facts, done, deal, get out of my face. You know, they like to, you know, see the problem is that, is that uh, a lot of people are, are poor. A lot of indigenous uh, nations and uh, communities are poor, but they need the water, they, you know, you know, they need this, they need that. And so that's where people come in and they say, well, hey, you know, if I, if I, if I take this much amount of land from you, I'll give you this. And you know what? Water, air. food that's all we need we don't need any excessive things any more trappings of this Western civilization and that's what they call it but it's not civilized to me it's still the Wild West and if you insult somebody either by word or deed you got it coming back to you we need, I will tell you, we need honest people who are from the communities, okay? Not the kinds that go out and, uh, you, know, you know, they go into the white man's world and they learn the white man's way and although they may be indigenous, it's like they've already been envenomated by the greed out there. Oh, well, you don't think you're going to give me this land? Well, how about this? You know? We need, we need people who care about the land. Care about the people to be in these places. To hold these offices. And restructure the whole way things are done. I would love to see a Hawaiian uh, mayor and a Hawaiian governor stand up to somebody that says 
oh hey well you know like we want to put a pipeline through over here because you know we just found out that you know uh, Kahuku has you know like a huge oil um, you know a huge plot of land in the back of the football field that just has like a boat load of oil you know we just need somebody that just says no not well you know I'll think about it I'll look into it I'll have my staff confer with me later that day on these issues no no pack up your covered wagons and get the fuck out of here I think that's all I got to say. I think that's all I need to say at this time. Over here in the city of Wahiwa, this area I'm crossing right now, which is the, uh, the, the, the Bridge of Broken Promises, there are so many homeless people here in Hawaii. A lot of them are local people. That's a problem we need to fix, okay? Not building a three hundred billion dollar freaking telescope. Get out of here, boy. That's all I gotta say. Thank you all so very much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and sharing, and communicating with me, and everything. By the way, these are my new glasses. I'm not sure if I like them. I think I'm gonna go back to the old ones. I should have brought them with me just in case. But um. That's how I feel about what's happening. Because this is, see, see, you see what's happened here with Standing Rock, what's happening here with uh, Mauna Kea. This is not new, this is old. This has been happening, okay? And it's gonna continue to happen. Unless we get these freaking dirty people out of our governments and put some people in there who don't care about the money and care about the people and care about the land care about the future for the children you know our keikis here in Hawaii the keikis they are so special you know they're so special to us you know we look at our keikis like when they're walking around and stuff like that you know you know we, we look at them because they have so much promise in their eyes so they have so much fulfillment you know so much positivity so much potential and it's like you're just gonna keep breeding century after century, generation after generation of people who don't care about the children, don't care about the next generation, they don't care about the land, and it's gonna become a known way of thinking. It's gonna become common knowledge, a common way of thinking, and that's what's gonna screw us all up. I'm talking about hitting that reset button very, very soon, man. I'm waiting for Star Brothers to come down and go, you're gone, you're gone. 92% of the population, one swipe, start it all over again, okay, alright, so I'm out of here, I'll see you all next week, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, take care, much love, until I see you all again, Mwah! Peace can almost. Did you really think, did you really think that you were going to get a vlog without me singing? Get out of here, boy. I see your teeth flash. Jamaican horn is so sweet. Down with Lexington, cross 47th Street. Oh, she's a big girl. She's standing six foot three. 
turning tricks for the dudes in the big city. Island girl, what you wanting with the white man's world? Oh, island girl, black boy wants you in his island world. He wanna take you from the racket boss. He wanna save you, but the cause is lost. Island girl. Island girl, island girl, tell me what you're wanting with the white man's world. She's a black as coal, but she burn like fire. And she'll wrap herself around you like a well worn tire. Oh, yeah, you feel her nails scratch your back just like a rake. Oh, he's one more gone, he one more John. Who made the mistake? Island girl, what you wanting with the white man's world? Oh, island girl, black boy wants you in his island world. He wanna take you from the wrecked boss, he wanna save you, but the cause is lost. Island girl, Island girl, island girl, tell me what you wanting with the white man's. Tell me what you wanting with the white man's. Tell me what you wanting with the white man's world. Yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. See y'all next week. Take care, much love. Mwah, mwah, mwah.